of scripture we find that Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem he's on his way and he's passing through the region between Samaria and Galilee and as he passes through there are some people who scream out to him saying master have mercy on us I want to speak to you from the thought thank you, Lord. don't forget to say thank you on, Amen. On, yes, don't forget to say thank you pray with me you are the potter and I am the clay have your way have your way let the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O Lord my strength and my redeemer let the redeemed of the Lord say so somebody ought to say amen, amen. listen saying thank you is a good thing yes having manners is a good thing yes every time my children get blessed i expect them to say thank you thank you whenever someone does something nice for them my expectation for them is for them to say thank you after all uh they didn't have to get blessed after all they didn't have to get the treat after all they didn't have to get those things that they wanted somebody looked out for them and so they ought to say thank you uh, when somebody looks out for you uh, you ought to say thank you uh, and listen we are in a society today uh, where people don't like to say thank you and they have uh, uh, this mindset that something is owed to them uh, that they deserve uh, something uh, listen I'm not from that school I'm from the old school uh, when somebody does something nice they you just simply say thank you uh, even if somebody gives you something that you really don't want uh, you still say thank, thank you, you. Uh, here in this passage of scripture we find uh, some people who did not say thank you and Jesus has a problem with this uh, Jesus questions uh, why uh, these individuals did not say thank you can I tell you about the story here we find Jesus as I stated he's passing through the region of Samaria and Galilee and he's on his way to Jerusalem and as he is moving through he's doing his ministry he gets stopped by ten men these ten men have leprosy it's important for you to understand that when you have leprosy that means that you have these spongy tumors that develop on your body it mutates your physique you don't look the same you look as if you are diseased and as a result nobody wants to spend time with you you have now 
now been ostracized. You are now isolated. You are now quarantined. You are not to uh, uh, interact with the public because you have leprosy. Leprosy is contagious. So if you come around a crowd, guess what? You can infect others. My God, even in this coronavirus pandemic, you better be careful of the crowds that you uh, walk, to, walk into uh, because uh, you may infect somebody else. Uh, but aren't you glad uh, that uh, these men, they were able to call out to Jesus uh, and Jesus uh, decided uh, that he would listen to what they had to say. Uh, aren't you glad uh, that you could have coronavirus uh, but even in your coronavirus state, uh, you can still call on Jesus. Uh, aren't you glad uh, that you could have leprosy uh, but even in your leprosy state uh, you can still call on Jesus uh, aren't you glad uh, that you could have cancer in your body uh, but even having cancer uh, you can still call on Jesus uh, aren't you glad uh, that you can have diabetes in your body uh, but even in your diabetic state uh, you can still call on Jesus uh, aren't you glad uh, that you could have uh, an issue in your body uh, but it don't stop you uh, it shouldn't stop you uh, I pray it won't stop you uh, from calling on the name of the Lord uh, call him uh, his name uh, is Jesus uh, call him uh, his name uh, is Jesus uh, call him uh, his name uh, is Jesus uh, say yes uh, say Give them a shout. These men, they call on Jesus. While Jesus seems to be busy, they get his attention. Is there anybody at Scott that wants the attention of Jesus? Oh, uh, do me a favor. Just simply shout, Master. Every now and then, you've got to get to a point uh, in your life that when you need him, uh, it don't matter who's listening. Uh, it don't matter who's watching. Uh, you just need the master to move in your life. Uh, let me say it one more time. Uh, these men who had leprosy, uh, they were in the public at this point, uh, And it didn't matter who saw their disfiguration on their body. Uh, it didn't matter who knew that they had leprosy. Uh, it didn't matter who knew where they came from all that mattered for that moment is that they needed some help they got desperate for the help of the Lord when you get to the point where it don't matter who's watching you when it don't matter who's clocking you you just need the Lord and I dare you to call his name say master savior Jesus my, 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 Woo! Listen, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of trying to play games. Amen. Uh, I, I'm tired of playing games. I'm trying, I'm tired of trying to put on a show for you. Uh, I'm not here for you. Uh, I'm here for the master. Uh, I'm dealing with some stuff in my life. Uh, is there anybody in the, in the park a lot uh, who can agree with me that you're dealing with some stuff? Uh, your kids, uh, you got some issue with your children. Uh, you need Jesus to fix it. Uh, you got some issues in your body. Uh, you need Jesus to fix it. Uh, you got some financial struggles. You need Jesus to fix it. You got some bad relationships. You need Jesus to fix it. You got more month than money. You need Jesus to fix it. You are struggling right now. You need Jesus to fix it. Are you going to get to the point where you stop playing games with folk? You stop worrying about what people got to say about you. But you're more concerned about getting in the face of the Lord. Are you really? in need of your healing uh, then call on him yeah, my, my, my. these ten lepers after they call on Jesus after they lifted up their voice Jesus acknowledges them and they ask Jesus to have mercy, have mercy. on them look at the text my God, my God. the text my God. does not tell us that 
they had a long conversation with Jesus oh my god you know if you come to me and you tell me that you need some help I'm going to interview you I'm going to ask you what do you need help for I'm going to ask you what can I do for you but in this passage of scripture we don't see that conversation being had we don't see Jesus going through an interview process with these ten lepers we do not see Jesus having them fill out papers so that they can get qualified we don't see Jesus saying to them you got pre-existing conditions and because you do then you you are not going to be eligible for health care. We don't see Jesus going through that process. But we do see Jesus is saying to them, go show yourselves to the priests. Now this is where I've got to scratch my head. Jesus, why are you telling them to go show themselves to the priests? It's because Jesus understands the law. Whenever you had leprosy and you needed to be brought back into the fellowship of the community you had to show yourself to the priest it goes back to the mosaic law and what Jesus was telling them is that you've got to show yourself to be clean you've got to show yourself that you are healed so that you can re-enter society well what are you saying pastor I'm saying that these men did not have a debate with Jesus or oh, you may have missed those shout they did not complain to Jesus you may have missed your shout again. They did not say to Jesus, why do I need to go to the priest? Oh, you missed your shout one more time. They did not say to Jesus, what in the world are you talking about, Jesus? Why are you telling me that I need to go see the priest at this time? And I still got these spongy tumors on my body. You missed your shout again. What these ten lepers did is just simply listen to what the Lord said. And they turned around and they went back and they went looking for the priest they didn't have that conversation with Jesus what are you saying pastor some of us talk too much some of us talk too much some of us got diarrhea of the mouth we want to know everything we want to know everything from letter A to letter C we want to know why we don't want to know when we want to know how we want to know what but I'm here to tell tell you uh, that when the Lord tells you to do something uh, it's not based on your intellect uh, but it's based on your faith uh, do you believe uh, that the Lord can heal you uh, do you believe uh, that the Lord can set you free uh, do you believe uh, that the Lord can heal your body uh, say yes uh, say yes these lepers Look at the text. Well, they turned right around and they left Jesus. They left Jesus to go show themselves to the priest. Well, but there was one. That's what the Bible says. There was one who turned back around to Jesus. Oh yeah. There was one who said, I see that I'm healed. I need to go back to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I need to say thank you. Thank you. Woo! Look at what the Lord now says to this leper who is nameless. Whenever there is somebody who's being healed and their name is not written in the text, that's your opportunity to put your name in there. Oh my God. Look at what happens. Jesus says, wasn't there ten? Only, only, only one has returned. Only one has returned. That's just like our society. We don't know how to say thank you. We don't know how to give God praise even when he blesses you. Even when he takes care of you. Even when he looks out for you. You don't still don't know how to say thank you. You're driving in your beautiful car but you complain about the fact that your wheel is a little screwed up. You better learn to say thank you. You complain about your house but at least you got a house. You ought to say thank you. You complain about the back muscle but there are some people who are in their grave right now who wish
wish they could have the pain that you have, you ought to say thank you. There's some people on their beds of affliction that got all kinds of wires stuck inside of them and they are on a life support machine fighting for their life. But here you are and you're going to keep your mouth shut. The devil is a liar. You ought to say thank you. I know you may have something growing in your body. You may have some issue in your body. But guess what? You are in line for a miracle. You're in line for the manifestation of God. And if you could just say thank you before you get the blessing, say thank you before the manifestation happened. Just say thank you for what he's getting ready to do. Watch God move. Say yes. This 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 man the Bible says falls prostrate before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He 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 changes his position. He's no longer standing up. He gets down on his knees. He falls at the feet of Jesus. Jesus never tells the man to get up. Thank you, Jesus. You know why? Because the man was doing what he was supposed to do for a prostrate. He changed his level and he went down as Jesus stood up. You see, when you worship, you got to bow down. When you worship, you need to fall prostrate before the Lord. When you worship, you need to get on your knees. When you worship, you need to celebrate who God is, that he is supreme in your life. The man changed his position, got down, and fell prostrate at the Lord. And Jesus recognized his thanksgiving. He recognized that he was grateful. And then Jesus gives him the benediction. He says, listen, it's not that I healed you. Woo, look at the text one more time. Jesus never takes credit for healing the man. He says that your faith has made you whole. Oh yeah, your faith has made you whole. It's what you believe in your heart that has helped you to be healed of this infirmity. Yes. Scott, I got a question. What do you believe on this morning? Yes. What do you believe on this morning? Huh? What do you have faith in this morning? Yes. Huh? I pray that you would have faith in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Huh? But in your faith, huh, as you demonstrate it unto him, huh, he says, huh, it's not going to be me that gives you the blessing. Huh? It's going to be your faith. Huh? Oh, your faith is attached to your blessing. Huh? The more you believe, huh, the more blessed since you receive you miss your shout again the more you believe the more you will receive the more you believe the more you will receive the more you believe the more you will receive, you will receive. say yes my brothers and sisters I want to conclude on this note that my children are always teaching me about the Lord. They, they always teach me about Jesus. And just the other day, I took my kids to get some toys at Walmart. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they, they were happy-go-lucky. Oh, you should have saw them. I said to them Negroes, you all need to herb and find the toy that you want. You only got seven minutes. Seven minutes they started scurrying through the aisles. And then I gave them another rule. I said, listen, you can't find a toy over $15. You can't do it. I'm not going to buy it. So they went ahead and they looking through the aisles and they're scurrying and they're trying to find the best toy. Well, they found some toys. The, the, the young one said, well, daddy, since $15 is my 
the, the max of what I, I can get. Uh, I'm not going to just get one toy. I'm going to get a couple of toys. Uh, and I'm going to meet it at the $15 mark. I said, oh, you're a smart little one, aren't you? I, I like that. You're using your educated mind. Then the others, they said, oh, yeah, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, so they all came out with uh, two or more toys on that day. Uh, but uh, I was just simply waiting uh, for them to say thank you. Uh, they didn't say not a word. Uh, and we're driving in the car. They still ain't said a word. Uh, oh, now I'm mad and I'm getting frustrated y'all and they still uh, ain't said a word uh, I done spent all my money on these folks uh, I done went ahead and worked and got them exactly what they were looking for uh, and they still ain't said nothing to me uh, oh now I'm starting to get a little indignant uh, I'm starting to get a little angry and getting frustrated brother Puckham uh, and I'm ready to lash out uh, I'm about to give them the wrath of daddy uh, and lo and behold uh, I hear a little voice in the back of the van and it's a little girl who said daddy daddy I just want to say thank you oh my god when she said thank you my heart melted I said my goodness my little girl is on to something else she just said thank you and I started thinking in my head what else could I bless her with what else can I do for her because I'm so glad that she said thank you but watch this when she said thank you what well, said when she said thank you that's when the others listen to what she had to say and then all of a sudden it started a chain reaction after she said thank you then the brother said thank you then the other brother said thank you what are you saying pastor God says when you get into a thank Thankfulness, a heart of thanksgiving. When you begin to open up your mouth, it will be contagious. Not only will you say thank you, but the car next to you will say thank you. The car behind you will say thank you. The car across the street will say thank you. The house across the street will say thank you. Everybody will say thank you. Everybody will say thank you. Everybody will pray. Praise his name, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, give him a shout, give him a praise, give him a hallelujah, say thank you, in the name of the Father, Son, and blessed Holy Ghost, let the church say amen, maybe there's somebody under the sound of my voice, and you can now recognize that you really are blessed you're standing you're here you still got breath in your body you got a reason to say thank you maybe maybe just maybe you have learned something from this passage of scripture you're not gonna be like the nine lepers you're gonna be like that one who will return back to Christ and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, can we sing that? Lord, I just want to thank you. Yeah. Lord, I just want to thank you. Sing it. Lord, I just want to thank you. Yeah. Lord, I just want to thank you. Wow, Lord, I just. Yeah. Lord, I just. I want to thank you for being so good to me. So to me. Come on, let's sing it one more time. Lord, I just want to thank you. Yeah, Lord, I just want to thank you. Yes, Lord, I just want to thank you. Woo, hallelujah. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so Thank God this 
morning. I just ask that you lift up your hands right where you are unto the Lord. Just lift up your hands and pray this prayer with me. Lord, I thank you. 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 For being so good to me. So good to me. For being good to my family. Being good to my family. To being good for my household. Good to my household. You are good God. You are a good God. You are great God. You are great God. And you can do anything. You can do anything. But fail. But fail. Bless our houses. Bless our houses. Bless our community. Bless our community. Bless our church. Bless our church. Bless me. Bless me. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for being so good to me. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. and my sisters upon you we do not hold up an offering during the service everything that we give is through mail or givelify amen we're not exchanging any funds here in the parking lot please please if you have something you can give it to me i'll make sure it goes to the steward but we're not going to do any exchange of funds amen Amen. My brothers and sisters, we're ready to be uh, adjourned from this place. Leave this place, but never leave the presence of Almighty God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Let's sing our doxology together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. you faultless before his throne with exceeding great joy to the only wise God to him have majesty dominion and power henceforth now and forevermore let the saints of God say amen 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 God bless you my brothers and sisters I love you